I met from Ancient Tree Drums. And several years ago, I discovered some really interesting lumber. I had a fraternity brother who was harvesting first growth heart pine and heart cypress that's been river recovered, it's been laying at the river bottom for between 100 and 150 years. And when it was originally harvested, the trees were anywhere between 400 to 1,000 years old. Huh. And what they would do, they'd set up a mill on one end of the river, fall the trees into the river, float them down to the mill. And if they had too much hardwood in it, too dense, it sank. It's been laying there for 150 years. So it made a really interesting component, gave it more density and a little more character to it. He was doing high-end flooring, and I said, sell me a little bit to make a drum out of it. I got hold of it, brought it here last year to prototype, got extremely good response. Came back, started building stage shells. Nice. And the tone, first of all, the, the growth patterns, you're not going to find this on any new wood today. This is a pine. Look how tight the growth patterns are on that. Yeah, that's unusual. Very attractive. And this is a cypress. Cypress grows a half an inch every five years. And that's why they're estimating some of these logs are up to a thousand years old. Wow. So when Columbus got here, these trees have been growing for hundreds and hundreds of years. Huh. How, about but, the, how about the wood hoop on there? Is it the same material? The hoops are actually rock maple. Okay. Which is a really good destructive. We work it with a router, put some character into it, also round it off to improve the tone. But a good looking drum is one thing, but a good sounding drum is something else. And that's where we were really happy. Extremely sensitive. Yeah, very and much. Every drum has its own signature. Oh. Every drum has a little different flavor to it. So how many types of wood did you have you found so far? Well, the main wood that we're doing that's river recovered is cypress, hard cypress, and hard pine. Then we're also segmenting the line with uh, Florida wild cherry. And is that what I see behind you there? Florida or... wild cherry is here. Okay. This is not river recovered, yeah. but it's an absolutely drop dead gorgeous wood. It sure is. And, and cherry always has a beautiful tone to it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're doing all block shell construction. Right? Everything we're doing is stave. I'm sorry, and stave, yeah. Stave or block, whichever you prefer to call it. And I'm a dinosaur. I do it with a router on a threaded rod. Huh. Wow. And so basically I set up a little lazy Susan that has a handle that fits in. One motor is my left hand, the other motor is my right hand. Yeah. I very slowly bring the router up by turning it as I'm turning this. It takes about 25 to 30 minutes to work all the way up that I set it on the inside to the same thing. What do we have uh, what do we have here? What is this? Oh yeah. This is the most unusual piece I have. This is river recovered hard curly pine. Huh. And curly pine is extremely rare. But it also down to it. So what is your price range for, for, for these drugs? The retail is basically running for about $950 up to slightly under $1,200. Okay. 